But when Locke up visited Kentucky State Penitentiary, we met Fleece Johnson. Well, we have sexual desires, right? So you got a bunch of men locked up in one place. All of them get hard. All of them horny. All of them got sexual desires. So what are they going to do? You won't let them have a woman. They going to have each other. Somebody's going to have to give us some booty. And it's just that simple. <laughs> In his prison, booty. Booty was uh, more important than food. Booty. A man's butt. It was more, <laughs> I'm sorry. It was more booty, having some booty, was more important than drinking water. I like booty. When I see one, and he looks good to me, when I go see him, I say, hey, dude, come here. I say, I'm telling you what, uh, I like you, and I want you. And uh, all we can do is the easy way out of the hallway. So the choice is yours. But... And it was always yes. You know, they got this thing where they sag their pants, past their butt. It's a style. They call it some sort of gangster style. You know, it's sexy to us, right? And see, but they were proud for this, right? So you say your pants in her, man, somebody be up in your butt, you know? And it's just that simple. I'm not no shame in my game. This is nothing that I'm ashamed to admit. I am what I am. I'm a warrior, too. You know, so let that be known. I'm a warrior. It's one of those jail things. You know, it started back in the prison. It's from a prison culture. Sack used to come from prison. And having to pull up your pants every three and a half seconds just so you won't fall over and bust your ass is, is kind of ridiculous. Your pants have loops. You know what goes in those loops? Belts. You know what, what connects with the belts? The belt buckle. So use it, please. Because I'm tired of seeing ignorant people sagging with doo-doo stains on their drawers. And it's also meant for, you know, those men in jail ready for loving. Like, they were homosexuals ready to get, you know, get in there with another man. And the sad part is, it's become okay. It's become okay to symbolize something of homosexuality and then people will personally say, well, I'm not gay. Well, my nigga, if you show your ass to other men, you wear tight-ass jeans. You wear vibrant pinks and greens and yellows. What can I what can I infer from that? Mohawks that are blonde. When the fuck did black kids start doing shit like this? Our parents had role models uh, with civil rights leaders and Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and stuff. Our role models these days are rappers. But also what people haven't mentioned yet is that it also came from slavery. And when men, they would, uh, not even just women, men and, they would keep their women and men slaves. They would uh, make sure their pants were low so it would be hard for them to run away. So now that when men sag, it's kind of like they're trapping themselves and they're still in that mentality of, okay, we're still trapped by the white man. And you're like, it's really subjectifying themselves. And when men sag, I feel like they're living up to what the white man used to call us or used to treat us. We're supposed to be grown men, but yet we sag. Come on, son. Now, I tell you what, I like you and I want you. Now, we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. <laughs>